What's going on, everyone? I hope you're having a really good day out there. Uh, something just hit my desk and, uh, you know, got me thinking. Now, I'm studying for several financial licenses, and I'm, uh, I'm learning an absolute ton as I go through these processes. It's basically I'm becoming an investment advisor, and if I'm there, I'll be probably going to CFP, or uh, I'm definitely going... I'll probably end up doing an investment banker uh, license as well, uh, but it's just a bunch of them I'm doing. I really, truly am. And to keep things nice and fresh and interesting, I'm learning a freaking ton. And something hit me. If you pay attention to the news, especially the finance sector, this cryptocurrency trash out there that's disrupting the market, is it a security or not? Is cryptocurrency a security or not? Uh, is the chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler, is he targeting Binance or CZ and using a little-known law, which I'm about to explain to you, that we use in finance. So what is the Howey test? The Howey test is this. I'm going to read you the definition here saying I don't screw it up and it doesn't get lost in translation. The U.S. Supreme Court uses the Howey test to determine whether certain transactions qualify as investment contracts. If in transactions qualify as investment contracts, it'll have four procs, four elements. And I'm gonna explain what those elements are. We're gonna to touch on each one. And if it matches all four and passes that test, then it's an investment contract. So Gary Gensler is, uh, is, do you think he's targeting Binance, that exchange? Because, look, the crypto market in particular is full of con men, charlatans, and just bad actors, if you ask me. I think they have no business touching your money or my money. Facts. I don't think they have any business. I'm putting in such hard work over many months getting my financial licenses as a money manager, wealth manager, whatever you want to call it, asset allocator. And have these crypto guys come in here and have a, a good guy named, uh, who's a rock star and really a voice of reason within the crypto market is Anthony Scaramucci. Does this massive lawsuit potentially mean for crypto at large or Binance? Joining us now is Anthony Scaramucci, the founder of Skybridge Capital, also had a front row seat to the collapse of Sam Bankman Freed's FTX. Anthony, appreciate it. What do you make of this SEC action? Is it justified or unjustified? Well, listen, I, I'm not close enough to be able to declare whether it's justified or unjustified. I think there are, are three levels of analysis here, though. The macro analysis is that the SEC has decided, Brian, that they want the United States out of crypto assets, digital assets in general, and they want to more or less make these exchanges unlawful here in the United States. That could be the aftermath of the Sam Bankman-Fried FTX story and the embarrassment that he caused, because as you and I both know, he was very close to getting margin approval from the CFTC. And a one short year ago, he was a media and political darling in Washington. So. I think you've got a big macro headwind for the industry. Number two, as it relates to what's going on with CZ and Binance, you'll notice in that complaint that nobody lost money. They have not made that allegation, which is why this is currently a civil complaint. Uh, and I believe uh, that Binance has very good counsel and they will likely, as others have you know, in our industry, uh, pay a fine here mm -hmm. and agree to clean up their practices. Uh, and I think there's a positive outcome that could take place for CZ and Binance if they can get to a settlement with the SEC. And then just the last point that I would make about this is what do our political leaders, the political establishment of wa Washington want to have happen to the crypto industry in the United States? Do they want to cede the mantle of U.S. financial services leadership to the United Kingdom, which, which I am here right now? and the laws are opening up to Bermuda, where Coinbase is now mm -hmm. filing to move assets in exchange to Bermuda, to Hong Kong, uh, where the Chinese government has decided that they want to allow 
for digital assets and digital property in Hong Kong. And then, of course, uh, the amazing country of the United Arab Emirates. They have a 160-plus page document uh, that Abu Dhabi Global Management has elucidated yeah. what they're going to do to regulate. So so you guys got to tell me, um, uh, you, you have to figure it out at the political just, level, but we have 200... We have 200-year-old leaders. I mean, we've got people that go back to George Washington that are sitting in the Congress, and uh, I think it's a mistake for the country. They may have voted for George Washington. I don't know. Uh, you know, Anthony, here, here's the thing. Okay. Uh, George Washington would have probably got this, by the way. Well, and so what? Made, and it would have made sense to him about the libertarian construct of these digital assets and the need to have U.S. citizens allowed to be owning those assets and to have it regulated fairly well, here in the United States. Let's, let's talk about yeah, Mooch. Yeah, we all know Mooch out there. He's a really good voice for all this, and I'd be really interested what uh, Anthony has to say about all this. What are the four elements of the Howey test? Well, I'm going to get down to it right here and touch on these four elements and what the SEC is using to measure if this is an investment contract or if these cryptocurrencies are, you know, securities. Now, here, check this out. I get, and I am all for Bitcoin being used overseas, South America, Central America, and other economies and markets around the world where circumvent their poor economies and currencies. God bless them, use them. But actual cryptocurrencies, there's too many people losing money. It doesn't make any income. Doesn't make sense. There's no inflation. I mean, look, cryptocurrencies is, you, you can't just snap your fingers and invent a currency, but obviously you can now online. And to me, that's just, no, no, that's a no-go. Um, I think it needs to be regulated. I think there needs to be some fairness and safety there. That's what a little bit of the government brings up. But uh, I'm all for people overseas using the currency as a currency. Here are the four elements of the Howey test. The Howey test consists of four elements, often referred to as prongs. According to the test, a transaction is a security if it is, number one, an investment of money. Number two, in a common enterprise. Number three, with the expectation of profit. And number four, to be derived from the efforts of others. Now, what we do know about crypto is this. It doesn't produce income. You only get paid more if the sucker behind you pays more for the product or currency. It does not have any compound to it doesn't grow. The only way it grows is if somebody pays more for it than what you bought it for. I'm not a crypto fan, but I am a Bitcoin fan. I'll tell you this. I think it's incredibly unfair. People are losing money and they're losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. And it's just nuts. Yeah, there is the market of Bitcoin where it is rising. That's pretty cool. But there's too many what ifs. I'd be happy to hear what you guys have to say out there. And uh, how he tests is how the SEC is using an enforceable action against Binance and these exchanges out there to determine if they broke federal law measuring if crypto is a security. That's all it comes down to. I'm happy to hear what you guys got to say about it. Thanks for watching. That's all I got as I continue on to get my financial licenses and just become a rock star in the space. Because watch, you just watch. It's going to happen. It's already starting. My little Twitter account is growing. It's really growing. And it's because of the stuff I'm putting out there. Because it's hard facts, it's law, and it has everything to do with money management, bonds, stocks, but more importantly, investment funds, and how financiers, or guys like me, make money work for all of us. It's really interesting. Uh, so go check that out. my website, jamiesonshark.com. That's all I got. Until next time, we'll see you there. It's like I always say, good night and good luck. Take care. We'll see you.